Hello everyone, welcome to my violinist guide. Before we start, I just want to say, also made merry guide if you are curious. I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and shared my guide because this took a while to make. Anyways let's begin. Okay, so Antonio is a hunter that's currently around a minus or B tier. He dropped because of nerfs and people learned how to kite him. But that doesn't mean he can't be a monster in good hands. He can be hard to learn at first, but trust me practice is the key. Okay, let's get to his skills first. He has three skills. Sonata, Rhapsody, and Infinite Movement. They seem complicated but it's quite simple. His first skill sonata is most important one. You make a line with two notes, and it makes it a string, also takes one hit with no attack recovery. But also remember you can make one string in five seconds or it's gonna cancel. His second skill rhapsody is unlocked after you get two hits, and it makes you throw notes at survivors. Remember those don't count as hits. It's effect like what it says in here. Antonio got a nerf where the demon note effect can now automatically remove itself over time. And they stand like this when they try to remove it. The third skill is infinite movement, it lands bunch of strings on opposite side you are standing on. It's of course best one but remember survivors can still dodge it because there's a gap between each line. I also forgot to say if survivors are already affected by demon notes, if you hit them with normal hit it's gonna be gone. Now, you may be wondering, how do I place notes? It's simple I will show you now. This doesn't mean you have to place them like I do everyone has their own way, but this is the best way to place them in my opinion. First of all don't place them like this, because it can be very complicated and hard when you want to do a quick note, but it's fine if you do it for infinite movement. This is how you should place a quick string. You just hold the button for first note, and then just click note button again. As you can see palettes and windows are your best friend, because survivors will have animation while you can just make a string. Now on to Persona builds. This is my current build. Detention is a must with Antonio. Trump card is optional since I use blank. Here's build you can use if you run teleport to Antonio. Confined space is also optional. Berserker can be good if you missed your strings. Now traits. Of course, don't use listen unless you are new. Abnormal can be good like with abnormal geisha, but I'm not sure since I never tried it on Antonio. Excitement is good if there's two or more stunners since it can be annoying with the harassing. Patroller, I don't recommend it. Of course, this is one of best for Antonio because Antonio is a slower hunter. Peepers are also very good for him since you can see where survivors are going so you can make a string. Blink is obviously best hunter trait right now. Now on to counter characters. So if you remember from earlier Antonio is slower hunter. 
So obviously survivors who can dash and create distance between him will counter him. I may have forgot some, but you know what I mean. Now, who does Antonio counter? Reminder I may have forgot some because this game has so many survivors. Now, we are at maps. Antonio is a slower hunter, so he's weaker on bigger maps like Moonlit, Lakeside, and etc. Walls can also counter Antonio if you don't bring peepers. Because you need to see survivors to be able to make a string. For example, Church really counters Antonio because of the walls. So I never play him on Red Church because I don't feel like bringing peepers lol. That doesn't mean you can't play Antonio on Red Church, so don't give up. Now who to ban in rank? Well, the bans are not very different from others. I recommend either banning Merc, Seer, or also Priestess depending on the map. For people who don't know Priestess is good at Moonlit, Eversleeping Town, Chinatown, and also good inside Hospital, Now when we covered everything about Antonio, the question is how do you get better with him? Honestly, just keep practicing and playing with him. No hunter is easy to learn, and it's okay trust me. It may take a while but it's okay, it will pay off for how far you get. Antonio is the second hunter I bought, and I am really happy with him. And I hope you guys will feel the same and find my guide useful. That's all. Thank you so much for taking your time watching my guide. Have a nice day or night 3.